Hi, we're Dean and Jenny Holland, and we're going to read um, from Luke 1, verses 39 through 45 today. And um, this passage comes right after Mary has heard from the angel that she will be giving birth um, to Jesus. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her Will be accomplished. I've always read this passage as a celebration of the mothers of John the Baptist and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God had blessed them with this honor and the angel told them that nothing is impossible with God. But now I think it represents more. Why did Mary travel to visit an older cousin? She had just been given amazing news that she faithfully accepted without question. She was obedient to God but she wasn't a merry teenager in a time in history where there could be devastating consequences for that. Had she told her parents, her friends, her Joseph, was she scared? She visited Elizabeth because she knew Elizabeth would provide her with encouragement and understanding. She became her cheerleader during an exciting yet uncertain time in Mary's life. When we first joined Fairview Baptist many years ago, our pastor emeritus, Dr. Bob Sizemore, then pastor, conducted a class for young new members and encouraged us to, so, to surround ourselves with Christian friends. It is a, hard to live as Christians by ourselves. We need support from other Christians and our cheerleaders. Even more importantly, we need to be cheerleaders for friends and strangers who need our love. 2020 has been a tough year. We need to find ways to reach out to our neighbors and encourage them, be their cheerleaders, and support them physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Find ways this Christmas to share the love of God. We are the hands and feet of Christ. Feed someone who is hungry. Tell people what Christmas means to you, and let them know nothing is impossible with God. Christmas is hope, love, and peace. Our world needs all three. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.